So we're going to talk about how to put the bassoon together now. The bassoon uh, comes in what looks like about a billion parts. So we're going to go ahead and uh, cycle through each of those. But before we do that, dipping your reeds in water is much faster than having it in your mouth. So one of the things that I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend is that you thoroughly soak your reeds, but not too much. What we're going to do is we're going to open up the case. And as with most cases, there's a right way and a wrong way to open it. Make sure that the bottom of the case is on the bottom of whatever you're setting the case on and that the top of the case is what opens because you don't want to have the bassoon fall out over the floor. So in my particular case, the top part is thinner, the bottom part is thicker, and the latch is open in a way where there's little doubt as to where the top of the case is. So there we go. We got a bassoon case and we're looking at a bassoon right now. Okay, so the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to access your seat strap. This is a seat strap right here. You actually may have what's called a boot strap. Now the boot strap is a little bit different from the seat strap because what the boot strap does is there is a cover that actually fits over this portion of the bassoon. I like seat straps better with these hooks right here. Because with a boot strap, you may get some interference with the pads, which we'll talk about later. But with a seat strap, you basically take it and set it under you, like so, with the hook end sticking out of the right side and the long end here. And you can adjust this to the left or to the right, whatever way you need to adjust, depending on your height, depending on where the bassoon's gonna fall. So let's do one thing at a time. Let's go ahead and take out, this is called the boot joint, the bottom joint of the instrument. Let's go ahead and latch it on to the seat strap. 